please welcome David Henry Huang, Thomas Schumacher, Charlotte St. Martin, and Heather Hitchens. Good evening and welcome to Radio City Music Hall and the 73rd Annual Tony Awards. I'm David Henry Huang, Chair of the American Theatre Wing, and I'm thrilled to be here to celebrate the 2018-19 Broadway season. Now, the talent represented by the nominees here tonight is simply staggering, and although we still have a long way to go, this year's list of nominees brings us some exciting firsts in terms of inclusion and diversity. So let's celebrate progress, even as we renew our commitment to equality in the theater. We have a remarkable evening in store for you. But before we begin, I'd like to mention the longstanding partnership that makes this event possible. The American Theatre Wing and the Broadway League have been producing partners of the Antoinette Perry Awards for the past 52 years. And as every single theatre person knows, without cooperative collaboration towards a unified vision, the show simply does not go on. So I want to express my gratitude to our friends at the League for bringing their creativity, their energy, and their passion to the table year after year. It makes this job an absolute joy. And on that note, please welcome me, please join me in welcoming the chairman of the Broadway League, my friend and collaborator, Thomas Schumacher. Thank you, David. Tonight, we celebrate not just our glorious nominees, but also our collective accomplishments as an industry over this past season. With total attendance nearing 15 million, this has been the best attended season in Broadway history. Now, that's a million more people than last year, and it's our sixth year in a row of audience growth. What's more, these record numbers were reached with the youngest audience we've seen in nearly 20 years. With more kids and teens in attendance than ever before. In fact, a quarter of all attendees this past season were under the age of 25, a large percentage of whom were likely watching it live on their cell phones. But the simple fact, we, Robert Horn wrote that joke, thank you very much. The simple fact we've been able to reach this ever-growing, ever-widening audience base is thanks to all of your hard work and the diverse range of offerings you've put on stage. When the final product is this good, people obviously show up in droves. So congratulations to everyone who took part in this season, including the passionate members of the Broadway League, represented in 150 cities around the world, who I'm so proud to represent. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce to you my dear colleague, the president of the Broadway League, my pal, Charlotte St. Martin. Thank you, Tom. And hello, Radio City. Tonight marks the culmination of a remarkable season of Broadway, and as Tom pointed out, we have a tremendous amount to celebrate. And when you look at the long list of creative triumphs being celebrated here tonight, it's not hard to figure out why we continue to have historic numbers year after year. And of course, the international exposure from tonight's telecast will help us continue to celebrate that growth. So, for that, I want to thank our friends at CBS, especially Jack Sussman and Jody Roth. For 40 years, CBS has invited us 
to share the magic of Broadway with television audiences around the world. And we couldn't be more grateful for their unwavering commitment to the theater. The telecast, yes, thank you, it's just amazing. The telecast would not be possible without the already, the already leadership and producers, Ricky Kirshner and Glenn Weiss. Glenn is also the directing the telecast tonight. To watch them pull out the impossible year after year never fails to astonish. And we are all particularly excited about the return this year of James Corden as our host. You know, having gotten a sneak peek of tonight's show this morning at dress rehearsal, I can't wait for you to experience everything that's in store for you this evening. Now, please join us in acknowledging the recipients of this year's Tony Honors for Excellence in the Theater, who we celebrated at a special ceremony this past Sunday, Monday. They are Broadway's inspirational voices, uh, Michael McElroy Find founder, <laughs> the Schubert Organization's longtime vice president of theater operations, Peter Enton, <laughs> Joseph Blakely Forbes, and the FDNY's Engine 54, Ladder 4, Battalion Mine, or as we call them, the Pride of Midtown. Each of these worthy recipients has left an indelible mark on our op community and the theater. So let's give them one last hand. And now, I'd like to turn the mic over to my friend and colleague and the president of the American Theater Wing, Ms. Heather Hitchens. Thank, thank you, Charlotte. The Wing founded the Tony Awards in 1947 by honoring theater makers working at the height of their creative abilities, the Wing has been able to help fulfill its obligation to promote excellence in the theater. We continue that proud tradition happily this evening. I want to say something to everyone sitting here tonight. What you do matters. It really, really matters, especially in a moment like we're living in right now. When compassion often seems like it's in short supply, there is a huge power in the communal, of rit the communal ritual of theater when, in which audiences come together and jointly consider someone else's experience in the world. I hope everyone here feels a sense of pride for taking, a part, taking part in an art form that unites us every single night and requires all of us to exercise empathy. The power of what you all do just cannot be overstated. So thank you. In addition to the Tony Honors recipients that Charlotte just acknowledged, this past Monday, we also had the opportunity to toast this year's special Tony Award recipients. They are Sunny Tilders and Creature Technology Company, recognizing, <laughs> recognized for their creation of Kong and King Kong. Now we can clap. <laughs> the extraordinary Jason Michael Webb, awarded for his outstanding musical arrangements for Choir Boy, and the three-time Tony-nominated actress, Maren Maisie, who sadly passed away. <laughs> we sadly lost Maren in September, and tonight we are honoring her, not only for her artistry, but for her advocacy and leadership within the theater community as a brave, strong voice for women's health issues. Thank you. 
Well, there's nothing left to say except that Tom, David, Charlotte, and I want, you to, want to congratulate all the nominees and tell you to have the time of your lives tonight. Thank you so much.